Oh, absolutely. Uh, they're desperate to score many a try, but um, it wasn't to be. Um, when you get a scoreline put on you like that, um, it's, they probably haven't turned up ready to play. Um, that's a lesson for the girls or the group. So um, we don't accept that sort of scoreline in, in our group anymore. Um, that's, they understand that, and this wasn't our standard and expectation going forward. But one thing that it has been has been a successful campaign. They've won two two. World Cup games which they've never won before and they've played in the semi-final and they've changed the face of their country and the women's pathway for, for the rest of their lives. Justin, next thing I was going to ask you about the, the reaction back home has been good to the, to the pre, previous wins. What about the size of this defeat and disappointment? Yeah, as I mentioned, the size of the de defeat and the scoreline is not acceptable. Um, We've spoken about that already, but they should hold their heads up high of what they've produced in this uh, in this tournament. First PNG Orchids team to ever play in a uh, World Cup semi-final, um, and that standard set now. So that's the expectation going forward to 2025. Um, so they're only going to get bigger and better from here as long as they get um, some pathways put inside their, their nation um, and then other other little things aside from that. But I think. Going forward, this is going to create uh, a, a big PNG orchids uh, following going forward. Elsie, what's it been like for you the, the journey through the competition to get this far to a World Cup semi-final? Yeah, like you said, um, it's 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 been a, quite a journey for us. Um, you know, not winning a game in the past World Cup and like coming into this um, this tournament with a zero win. Um, for us is um, to get two wins and then um, yeah I think it's it's a good it's good for us and well, we're only going to build from from there. Could you sense that the crowd tonight were desperate for you to score because probably because of the size of the Australian score that they were really willing you on the long the game went on and you had a couple of chances in the end? Yeah, um, <coughs> from, from our squad I think um, lots of the girls are learning that like, to play in the position as well and you know coming against a side like Australia you know we knew that you know it's going to be a tough game for us so yeah coming in this game you know we had to do a lot to um, prepare for this game but unfortunately you know the, um, the result that doesn't speak for what the work we've put in put in for this game so like, like I said like we will take this as a positive and then go back and work and then come back. And in the men's game one of the things the other countries did to close the gap is more players played in Australia I guess also over here in England, the competition yep. reached a better level. Is it the same way to close the gap in the women's game or the other way to do it? Oh, there's other ways to do it. There's multiple ways to do it, I think, in the female game. So I think they need to get some pathways going inside PNG itself. Um, and then they need to get on a probably a state level. Uh, and that's maybe a PNG Hunters female version into the QRLW. And I think you'll, what you'll see is multiple PNG players probably come out of this and go into NRW pathway at some point as well. So that's only going to be make it better for the PNG Orchids uh, pathway. But I think they've got to get some pathways in order in their in their nation first and foremost. And I know there's been conversations around that. What about what could have been some um, players at the Orchids? Say again. What about some players at the Orchids next season? Next season? Ah, uh, possibly, yeah. Absolutely. They, whether they know it or not, they've been on trial for the last five weeks. So um, I've been watching quite co closely. I uh, obviously got ties with North Queensland. So um, I'm pretty confident you'll probably see a couple of PNG females come out of that, as long as they want to come to North Queensland at some point. Because, because like, there's, there's quite a few players that are consistently impressed. Absolutely. So the thing is with uh, PNG players too, it would be an easy transition from going from PNG uh, climate to North Queensland climate, all that sort of thing. Um, that's not necessarily not to say there won't be any girls from the southeast corner of Queensland that come up as well. So um, you will see girls out of this uh, World Cup squad go into the NRLW next season, I have no doubt. Elsie, speaking of the NRLW, you came up against some of your teammates tonight. Did you enjoy that challenge? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, it's always um, exciting to you know play against your teammates, and obviously uh, it, that was it for me as well. And uh, you know, it's good to play against them. But uh, yeah, it's always it's always good to play against your teammates. What did what did Kezi say to you? Oh, she's just been Kezi, you know, coming around and you know try to 
um, you know, Liv, Liv just really, she's always a positive person and like she's um, trying to spread that positivity. So yeah, she just came to, you know, just had my, told me to just hold my heads up. Elsie, did you do a jersey swap with anyone? <laughs> Yeah, I did a jersey swap with Fui, but um, I think the jersey is too small for me to wear. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to find someone else for you. Can I ask you, what is your future with the PNG Will you be staying around the world? So my contract runs out pretty much tonight, so um, do I want to stay on? Absolutely, but um, where, that, where that goes, uh, that's up to the board and um, what goes forward. So um, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. This, this probably role I've had is probably the most challenging coaching role I've had to date for my short career. Um, but with more challenges comes more rewards. So um, they've got 23 females down there that are proud as punch, even though the result didn't go our way. But they've created history, and um, I've been fortunate enough to coach them and uh, be part of that as well. Have you enjoyed back in Yorkshire? Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, um, yeah, they didn't have to ask me twice to come back to England. Obviously, I've got very, very fond memories of this country, and especially in Yorkshire. So, um, no, I was on the plane. I was the first one on the plane.